Yeah. Feet. Feet. Okay, babe. Let's start with this. There's my pretty baby. all that terrible stuff out of you. Yes, you will. Okay. Here you go. Now the fun part. And the fluids is a water. What is it? Well, it's electrolytes and it's a nutritional paste and whatever medications that I happen to need. This particular eagle appears to have been poisoned, and my best guess is we're looking at um, lead poisoning. Probably been eating jackrabbits that have been shot with a shotgun. So that's, there's some real neurological issues that we're dealing with here. And uh, right now we just gotta give it enough, give it its food because it can't uh, feed itself yet. How is it finding? Jackrabbit shot the shotgun. Well, unfortunately, uh, jackrabbits are not protected here in Utah, and people go out target shooting, and jackrabbits are a popular target. And so they shoot the jackrabbit, they just leave the, the rabbit carcasses out on the desert, and then the eagles come in and eat the, the leftovers of the carcasses and uh, end up getting lead poisoning and, and hawks and vultures and condors and basically any any bird of prey. So that's what we're dealing with here is lead most likely lead poisoning. And what is the treatment for lead poisoning? There is a medication that you can give them um, but I find in most cases uh, if I flush them with fluids and give them lots of food, they, they recover without the harsh medications. And so, this is the treatment I've used for many, many years now, and it seems to have worked well for us. You've had good success. Males are uh, about uh, 10 pounds or so, the females can be as much as 13 or 14 pounds. And this is a bald eagle. This is a bald eagle. This is a young bald eagle. This this one is on its first migration down here. So well, maybe a little more than its first migration. It's probably a couple of years old. They don't get the solid white head until they're five. And. Uh, And so we try to be really careful here to make sure that the she gets the food and not my fingers. That's the why I put on gloves. I didn't want her near my fingers either. Yes, that's my girl. Such a cutie. any changes from yesterday? But she's stronger. She's definitely stronger today than she was yesterday, but she uh, still has, and she's not having the shakes. When I got her yesterday, she had a, a real bad tremor, and the tremor's gone, but there's still the issue with uh, her legs. Her legs aren't functioning properly, and she is swallowing a little easier. Yeah, but that just could be from feeding her a few times. There's my little girl. There's some strength. Yep. You want to just go ahead and sit her down, sweetie? You can just put her down. Um, just sit right there. <laughs> 